Hey gang, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering with Tech. This today's tip is on Gmail. This is clicking the to button to get the contacts that you want. Check this out. Today's tip, we're going to talk about composing an email. So when I go to compose an email, sometimes you're not real sure, like you can't remember an email address. You're like, oh my gosh, I just don't know that email address. This is kind of a cool thing that I found, that I found very useful too. It's just by, instead of trying to retype and figure out and just, you know, it does give you shortcuts or you just can't remember. You're trying, oh gosh, I can't remember how to spell it or whatever. You can always click the two so to select a contact. And this is at contacts.google.com, and we're going to go there in just a little bit. I'll show you that. So I'm going to press on the two, and when you click on two, you can see all your contacts. Now this account, I don't have a whole lot of contacts. It's just me. <laughs> so, and I'm on a uh, incognito window right now to just do this testing, so you can kind of see I'm in a different account. If you want to see my tip on the incognito window, click up here. So, but you can go right here and you can search for those contacts. So if you were looking for Michael Daniels, you can click enter and then his name would pop up right here or any of the results would show up. And then you can just check it. And by checking it, you insert that in. And now that email address comes up as a choice. Really quite cool. So I, I don't know if people knew this or not, but I think that's a wonderful, excellent thing. The other thing that we're going to do, we're going to try this a different way. I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to discard this because I don't really want to send it. Let's try it the opposite way. Let's go to contacts. Okay. So I'm going to go to contacts. If you remember this, it's contacts.google.com. And I go into my contacts. Now I can actually start an email straight from here. From the contacts window, I can start an email here. This is another way to do it. So you can search for all your contacts and then choose right here. And I'm going to just click on it. I can send an email and it starts up an email to that particular person. Now I'm gonna exit this out for a second because I wanna show you if you have created a label and you have like a group, because you can, you can create groups. If you have a group over there, like let's say I'm doing it for my umpires or I'm doing it for work or I'm doing it for, you know, whatever you do, you have a hobby and you want to have a group of those people's emails. You can select a group and do the same thing. But by doing this, I can click the email, choose it and start my email and just go that way. It's a quick, easy way. I like to have contacts, uh, a tab open with contacts so I can go see this and look at this and it just gives me information at my fingertips. So today's tip was basically on in Compose using that too to find your contacts that you want to make contact with. And you go straight through all contacts, start at Android, you've got all kinds of stuff that you can do. I can select all, manage labels, etc., etc. I hope this tip on Gmail was helpful. Be sure to give a thumbs up and also subscribe. Also, please check out a couple of these videos that we have over here. Thank you very much.